Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Buffy Geek here, joined by... What up, guys? It's David here, and we've got a good one for you today. A good one? A good one. A good one. It started off... <laughs> so, <more>. Sounds filthy. <laughs> I'm giving you I've, a good one. I've got a good one for you. <laughs> started off more professional already. There's no Steve laughing before you even start talking. Yeah, yep, no... Good start. No Steve laughing. Way more professional. Steve Zinger number one. It's just the two of us. <laughs> Should keep a tally to it. Oh yeah, who can we mug off more? Steve or your brother? <sighs> one of them's more of an easy target. And the other one's my brother, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think this is going to interest your brother? Doesn't It's not about Tarantino, today's podcast. <laughs> not about Chris Nolan... It's not about some niche indie bullshit oh, come or on, wrestling. Don't leave. Tight, oh. tight, tight. Take it tight. Take it tight. Go on. Oh, have you got someone else? What's that? No, no. It's just when you're talking about like um, Chris Nolan. I'm just thinking, fucking hell. I love the Nolans. I don't know what your your problem is with them. Some I know. Great music. And what they they were good. They were good, but <sighs> she's too gobby on loose women. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, that's true. What are we talking about today? The Nolans. The Nolans, right, okay. Yeah. So who's your favourite Nolan? Mm, Chris. Me too. <laughs> Great talk. <laughs> <laughs> Love his work. Yeah, I couldn't Google one of their songs quick enough. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the podcast over. Uh, the sponsor is, as always, Alpha Fitness. Uh, they can cover all your personal training, nutritional plans, training plans, Needs, and you can find us on the website as well, the Buffkeep Podcast Blog Right, so uh, see you next week. Good chat. Okay, bye. We're only kidding, yeah. <laughs> oh, How we are jape, we? yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why you put your coat on. Sorry. Okay, Turn right. Off. Sit your ass Just down. The coat. Sit your ass down. Right, we thought we'd do a little review today of. Well, do you know what, folks? I've been reading. It's amazed me too, don't worry. I've made the effort to read. I've also made the effort to write, haven't I? You have, yeah, you've been all over it. I've written um, two, well, two blogs. One is one is up, one is not up, because, um, what, what would you say, something went wrong with it? Well, something went wrong with it, but what Yeah, was the it? formatting's gone a bit... The formatting up. went weird, right? Yes. But um, there's a little... Article on the Buffgeek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com called "This is the reason Luke Skywalker disappeared." So I would suggest that you go check that out, and uh, you'll be able to see that I am not completely illiterate. <laughs> um, it has been proofread to an extent, not by you, I don't think. No, I didn't proofread it, but I it went live. I think it's okay. It's all good. Now that I've said that, people are going to be like, "Whoa." I'm going to read that and you know rip what? them to shreds. Even established websites are fucking terrible for it now, though. I, but I think it's because everyone's got to have so much content, so they've yeah. got... You know, are you into the content? Right, cool, you write about it. Even sites that are supposed to have professional journalists working for them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I read one earlier, I'll not name names, but on the Guardian website, it's, <laughs> it had um, just simple things like the, T-E-H... It's like, you're you know? kidding me. No, it's just little things like that, and you're like, are you like five? No one's got the time for proofreading, My really, do they? I can spell the. I know, I mean. And she's four. You've got to assume that you can, that they can spell it. They just <laughs> yeah. made it a typo. Yeah. It's like how I always put gave instead of, or gav? Gave instead gav. of have. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> I know I want to say have, but my phone just changes it to gaga. My phone changes haha to gaga all the time, right? I've never used the word Gaga, ever. Not even mentioned Lady Gaga in a text or anything. Okay. But somehow my phone thinks it's appropriate to change Haha to Gaga and make me look like a fucking moron. Well, I had the same thing, and instead of it saying invest, I was talking about some talking to someone about, about training and this and that, investing their time and, you know, what, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Motivational, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I had put incest. Oh, dear. And just before I said it, I was like, oh. That changes the topic. <laughs> and there's another word... Um, which always comes up, and I don't—I can't remember which word it is, but it's something like erroneous. Okay. It's, I don't even think it's a fucking word, but it comes up all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, wh- why? Who wrote, who did this? God damn you, autocorrelation. We still haven't managed to tell what the the topic is. No, yet. we haven't actually. No. I hope anyway, we've read it by now. So I was yeah. <laughs> so I was reading it. It was something that I read, and it is called. Avengers versus the X-Men. 
And when I first heard about this, I saw this. This is I've, this is the graphic novel I got in my hand, but I saw one of the the comic book issues, and I almost said um, um, the wrong store name. Watersons is it right. Watersons? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like Avengers vs X Men. That's fucking sweet. And then I looked at the lineup, right? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like every Avenger ever, plus loads of people from the X Men, and then they're taking on all the shit X Men that no one likes, <laughs> plus Magneto. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the teams seem a little bit. There's a lot more personalities on the Avengers team. This is just straight up looking at the cover, and you've got yeah. the, all the Avengers, plus you've got Spider Man, a Red Hulk. A green Hulk. You've got Wolverine. You've got the Defenders. Spider Woman. Spider Woman. Uh, you've got that. And then you've got yeah, the like Thing. You say, Wolverine. The Beast. Yeah, you know, so Charles Xavier. So, do you see Wolverine as an X Man or an Avenger? Wolverine's an X Man. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Spider Man's. I don't even see Spider Man as an Avenger. I see, see him as like a an honorary kind of call call him up to help yeah, you out yeah. sort of guy that's how he was kind of treated to start with when he first started, went into the Avengers was like you know we'll just call you up and then eventually he moves into Avengers Tower which was for his own protection if I remember rightly but see for Wolverine yeah I'm the same as you he's an X-Man he's, he's like but I actually get more excited reading about him in Avengers storylines because he's interacting with more exciting characters in my hmm. mind I just, I don't know, I mean, if, if Wolverine, Spider-Man, the Beast, and the Thing turned up somewhere, I wouldn't go, oh, there's the Avengers. I would go, there's Wolverine and Beast from the X-Men, Spider-Man from Spider-Man, and the Thing from Fantastic Four. <laughs> I'd be on the next page by then. <laughs> That's why I'm a slow reader. That's why I had to stall for five minutes while I finished the end off. <laughs> finished the end off, is that? I don't finished know. your end off. Yeah. No, I, I actually, I mean, I'm a massive fan of the, like, the X Men just do, in do, do, its do, entirety. Do, do. The cartoon was mm-hmm. amazing. I actually want to get it on, like, pay for it and get it on a box set. Um, all all the films hold a special place for me. The uh, and the comic books was there was X Men and Spider Man that I used to read. And like I said, it's probably just my bias from being a nineties comic book kid. Mm-hmm. But you know, Iron Man was pretty lame and. Captain America was definitely lame. <laughs> Thor was two dimensional. Hulk was had some sort of charm to him, but you couldn't really do much with him. Like yeah, he's, he's he's Bruce Banner. He's the Hulk. He can't die. Although he is nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, are, are you about, you? So you can't tell me anything about Secret Wars because that's the next one I'm reading. I've, I can't remember much about Secret Wars either. Great. I actually wrote that in my bio on the website. What? You've forgotten more comics than most people have read. Oh yeah, you have. You have written that. <laughs> yeah. I have not ignored your post, by the way. I just think that um, I just think that my bio is fine as it is. Alright, okay. I mean, you could put specialty subjects, Star Wars, Marvel, He-Man, and anime. Well, uh, to a certain extent. It's your, your bio. No but I'm, I'm not that bothered with I think fine. the bio is enough. Someone else has been ignoring it, so I'll need to get on with him. I can only imagine who. <laughs> Everyone else has done it. Have they? Yeah. 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 Anyway, so that was my first instance when I'm looking at it. I'm like, the team seems a little bit lopsided to the Avengers. Yep. But um, the Avengers were... When did Iron Man come out? When did Avengers Assemble come out? Like the movies. Iron Man was like 2009, something like that. Iron Man was 2008. And if you want to listen to our review of it, you can check it out on... The Buff Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com. Yes, and it it's actually got has its ev- own menu option. Every single darn one of the MCU movies is reviewed there. <laughs> this is two thousand and twelve. <laughs> so Avengers had just come out, or maybe this was coming out just Same before time, Avengers. It was April to October that this ran from, and Avengers came out April twenty twelve. So the hype for Avengers by this stage would have been pretty high as well. And X Men had only had First Class come out the year before and it was kind of thought of as a... I thought First I never thought they'd do another one. Right. Like, I remember watching First Class and thinking, it'd be cool if we did another one mm. with Magneto on that, like the full garb and everything. And not Mystique. And not Mystique being the main, like, fucking centre of the universe. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, obviously the vendors have been beefed up consistently. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and so have the defenders because there's an awful lot of Iron Fist stuff in in Avengers versus X Men, and Iron Fist was a no body back <laughs> in the day. Like, like he'd be he'd just be like if there was some sort of crazy c- crisis, Iron Fist would be in the background fighting some other no name villain. Oh uh, yeah. So I mean, I just I think I just actually hate Iron Fist and everything to do with him. Holy shit. What? I've just googled Daredevil TV yep. series. Ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Yeah. I mean, it is pretty fucking good, yeah, eh? It's awesome. Uh, I was just looking at when that came out as well. I mean, my girl was into it until they started fighting. Then she disliked it. Twenty fifteen, all right. So it's a bit, bit later on. What was? When Daredevil? Is that when Daredevil and... came out? Yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah. Just two years ago. Yeah. Feels like it came out. A really long time ago. Yeah, because 15 for season 1, 16 for season 2, Defenders 17. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah. Hmm. And then fuck knows what's going to happen now with the Disney and Netflix divorce. Apparently, Disney and Netflix have the rights to these characters for Netflix. Ooh, good. Which means that... Those characters are going to get fucked over in the comics. They'll, they'll get fucked over in the comics, and they definitely won't be appearing in Affinity War. Ah, sucks. They'll definitely not be in any I, of the Even just the a little two minutes nah. of them. No. Nah. And would have they made should not me... be. They should not be. Ah, no, if there's fights going on, like if there's stuff happening on Earth and they're mm. just random fights going mm. on, you should see them. Mm. I think mm. not involved in the main fight. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. If Widow and Hawkeye it is not necessary. No, it should be. Should is be. not necessary. If you knew there was skilled fighters out there and you could use their help, would you not get them involved? Is not necessary. I disagree. Anyway, well, yeah, you would get them involved, obviously, except from the Immortal Iron Fist. No, he he is the Immortal Iron Fist. Oh gosh, I, I honestly, I oh, hate him. Dumbass. I don't know what I hate more, him or the actor that plays him. I, th- I think they're... He, he could be... Actually, do you know what? I think I like him less than I like Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> Look, I set you up. I yeah. set you up. Uh, okay, no. so should we actually talk about how the storyline of this goes then? We should maybe give it a pun. Yeah. Uh, you begin. Well, I, I skipped us <laughs> to the fighting bits, so I don't actually Skip know to the end. anything that goes on. But pretty much there's some chaos going on with... Oh my God, I've totally forgotten this guy's name. Modoc. Modoc, yeah. Why has Modoc not been in it yet? Modoc's a fucking weird character to portray. It's a strange character to yeah. portray. Look at these things. What well, I mean, you can't see it because obviously this is a podcast. But is they've got like a, a T Rex attached to a fucking I don't know what that. What you, you, a floating what that? light, a floating flashlight. A flashlight. It's like T-Rex. a T Rex flashlight. F- fucking weird ass mutant animals, and then the Scarlet Witch just pops out of nowhere. I hate her uniform. I hate her outfit. Well, it's the pink the, on the, the pink. The the outfit was okay. In the early nineties, but it doesn't suit two thousand and twelve, you know. And she needs to wax. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Girls, you got to wax. <laughs> and do you want guys? You got to do a little bit of trimming too. It's... So general, this is just general. So sort of some shit's ha- sh- shit's going on, like and you know, Wanda and Vision aren't getting on. Well, and Wanda's still struggling after the House of M, I think. Yeah, I remember right. Like. Quite right too. Yeah, but and that's which why I also I, have. In fact, I should. Oh, I should have read House of M first. Yeah. Fucking what? Because that's why Cyclops and that are in Utopia. Yeah. Because the oh, numbers have gone down so much around. to one hundred and ninety. There's only one hundred and ninety-two mutants or something like that. I literally got House of M, this, and Secret Wars all at the same time, <laughs> and for some reason I read this first. I borrowed House of M from Bob, and then uh, Son of M, which is like Quicksilver after the event kind of thing and he's just kind of deal with losing his powers oh is he depowered because he's yeah. powered up in this yeah yeah he gets them back oh right okay but, uh, anyway so then we move quickly on to Cyclops and Hope Summer's having a wee chit chat yeah but this is again it's just all this is just of... all kind of setting the scene type of thing and Hope kind of basically is being trained to accept something yeah I think the, the, the key message at the start is the fact that the Phoenix Force is heading for Earth. Yeah, and we'll look at that. Yeah, a two-page spread of just the Phoenix Force and destroying... You said, what's this AR business AR. you're trying so, to spread? Yeah, there was, um, 
there was an app you could get, and it explains at the start of the comic, the start of your novel, and you highlight the page with your camera phone, your smartphone. My smartphone. And it animates the page or shows you a little video supporting it or something like and that. Will my smartphone work with facial recognition? <laughs> <laughs> Not if it's from Apple, apparently. <laughs> so, anyway, the Phoenix Force... Uh, well, that's the thing as well. Oh. Like, you set up your facial recognition, yeah? You go out for your night out and it works all fine. You wake up in the morning, and this is for the girls mainly, right? And you look like death because you've not got your makeup on. You look at your phone and your phone goes, Fuck no, hand me back to the owner, the pretty one. Yeah. With all the makeup and the red lips and the dark lines around their eyes. And that is this. So many girls look generically pretty now because they've got the exact same makeup tutorial. Yes. And I can see it. Like, I look at them and I'm like, I don't know how to do it, but I, I, your face is the same as this girl's face is the same as this girl's face. And it's really fucking boring. Girls, you're pretty without it. Yeah, exactly. Except for you, you're a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> she is a gremlin. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically the Phoenix Force is coming... <laughs> For hope, and it's destroying a whole bunch of worlds in its path, in its path, and Nova crash lands on Earth to alert, alert the Avengers. Young Nova, Sam Alexander, so, so the current Nova at the time. Well, I was going to say to you that he seemed like he was acting like a kid, so is he? A, he's a different he's Nova, right? He's quite young, yeah. He's right, not, okay. not the original Nova. And, I mean, at, at the start of this, you're reading it... <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who understand Morse code, he'll try again. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Yes. Um, it seems like Cyclops is a bit of a dick. Depends how you read it. It's like the Civil War debate. Most people think Captain America is a good guy and Iron Man's a bad guy. But Iron Man's just thinking about the future and mm-hmm. things like that. You know, same way. Cyclops is just thinking about the future of the X-Men and he's trying to keep them safe um, and he'll protect Hope because she's an X-Man No, I, 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 like I understand that. his argument and I think he his argument is perfectly fine a stoic dick, though. but he does come across like a dick I think it's just because I've always been a super Wolverine guy and I've always been Wolverine Cyclops doesn't deserve Jean Grey or Emma Frost No, Wolverine He must be on like a fucking dog. He must be, right That's why he's called what? Cyclops Because it's his big eye Ah, exactly He's born as fucking old tits <laughs> And he gets these two absolutely ferocious females Like Wolverine would take care of that business You know what I'm saying? He like, does an ultimate X-Men Does he? <sighs> Both of them uh, Definitely Jean Grey Right near the start as well What a lad but Ultimate's different. Wolverine dies in Ultimate. Fuck. Like, proper dies. Gone. Really? Yeah. He gets burnt alive, and while he's burnt alive, Magneto scatters his bones, turns them to dust, basically. Magneto's always a hard to decide if he's old or young. Yeah, they keep redrawing him and getting him younger and younger and younger, and then like bringing in Joseph and stuff and making him even. And Joseph, yeah, because I don't even want to go into that. Well, Joseph was meant to be Magneto after he lost his memory his mind once wipe, yeah. Xavier had wiped his mind. But then when he was Joseph, he he seemed a lot younger again, you know. And yeah, because prior to that, he became younger. Why? How did he become younger again? I feel like it was at the Savage Land. Probably there's. But I be... honestly can't remember. But he Magneto was given back his youth, so he was younger than Xavier, and that, and it was another way to make him. To increase his powers mm-hmm. and last longer, and then he had the mind wipe, and Joseph came in. So I remember all this, but he, they they do seem to kind of even within this graphic novel make him look younger and older at different points, depending mm-hmm. on who's drawing him. Yeah, but always with the white hair. Always the risk when you've got multiple artists working on different sections at the same time. See, I, that annoys me because sometimes you get some really. Stunning. Stunning artwork, and then you get some really shitty artwork. Mm-hmm. And I've got to be honest, the artwork for this graphic novel I didn't like so much. Yeah? No. It's... Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, so yeah, basically, Captain America and Cyclops have a little, a little discussion about, you know, the fact that the mutants are living separately and they're worried about the Phoenix coming and all this kind of shit. And they inevitably fall out, and you kind of think these two guys would get along better, but maybe it's because they're both sort of similar characters, yeah, like the straight man. So yeah, they're so like I know what you mean. 
they stand by what they believe in and everything, so if the other person doesn't believe in it, then they're wrong kind of thing. Yeah. And it's like, well, it doesn't not, like, it doesn't obviously, obvi- always, obviously. You're struggling. I'm struggling tonight. I don't know what's wrong. <sighs> Give me a second to put my other mouth in. <laughs> Try talking at your arse for once. <laughs> um, <laughs> all this shit coming at your mouth it'll be empty Fuck you. <laughs> just because someone else always has a different opinion to you doesn't always mean that they're wrong no you know it just so happens their opinion is consistently different <laughs> and in this case it seems I mean look at this artwork here it fucking sucks right look at the way Cyclops is drawn <laughs> shit his angry face really his, shit his bum on show yeah and it looks uh, awful anyway <clears throat> so they, they disagree over who's going to look after Hope because uh, Cap wants to put her in protective custody Cyclops wants to keep her Cyclops sends Cap flying with a a uh, Skrazukum there you go now you know what Cyclops is uh, Visor sounds like Skrazukum oh sorry Skrazukum yeah there's a great one Skrazukum wank yeah, but the wank one, that's amazing. When because Batman punches so Is it Batman? No, it's Cap it's hitting Cap. someone in the face with the shield. And it's just, you can actually hear, like, in context, why they'd have chosen that word. Because it'd be like, wank. I can't even describe it. But it's wank. Like, yeah. Wank. Wank. But yet, yeah, to read it is fucking hilarious. Anyway, it so... It sets me off every time. <laughs> for a wank. Right, I'm away for a wank. For a wank. 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 Um... So he blasts Cap, and Cap goes flying, and obviously that means that, you know what, diplomacy's out the window, we need to now fight. So what does Cap cry? Avengers, assemble! What do the Avengers do? Assemble! (laughs) And you get... So apparently Avengers, assemble means every superhero that's not an X-Man. Because you've got, in the lineup Doctor Strange, who... I know he's kind of lumped together with the Avengers, but I think that's pretty fucking loose, if you ask me. The Thing from, yeah. from Fantastic Four. I know Future he joins... Future Foundation there. That's not Fantastic Four. That's Future Foundation. So what are they? Just basically a variation of Fantastic Four. But there's more of them? It's when... That's John... a shit outfit, by the way. It's when Johnny Storm died, I think. Um, let me look it up. I think it's from when Johnny Storm died. And to be honest, sometimes Spidey was part of it. Okay. We've got Spider Woman. We've got uh, we've got Giant Man. That's fine. We've got Wolverine. Nah. We've got Hawkeye. That's fine. Red Hulk. Nah. We've got Luke Cage. That's Defenders. We've got someone else. Who's that meant to be? Who's what? Mockingbird. Bobby Morse. Um, she's just a sort of background guy. She's coming, becoming more prominent now. Um. In Spider-Man's story, I think there's a bit of a love interest there with Spider-Man. Last I read, there was a thing going on between them. Um, then you've got the Immortal Iron cool. Fist, yes, which is Defenders. Then you've got Iron Man, Actual Avenger, Scarlet. No, Black. No, Black she's Widow. not called Scarlet Johansson in the comics. Black Panther. Uh, no, <laughs> Black Widow. <laughs> yes, Spider-Man. No, Black Panther. Mm, kind of loose. Daredevil. Defender. But that's apparently the Avengers Assemble, like basically every fucking title Daredevil that's not the X Men. Yes. And I kind of just think, well, you know what? I look at all of you, and pretty much, apart from Doctor Strange, I think that Magneto would wreck you all in about three seconds. Oh, like that video, that Darkly video. Yes. <laughs> the Avengers versus Magneto. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then he, and then it's Thanos somebody... comes down, and he's like, oh, I'll take that glove. <laughs> a, a metal glove. What the. <laughs> Brilliant. Most powerful gems in the universe in a metal glove. <laughs> <laughs> I just love when Iron Man turns up. He just crunches them up into a tiny ball and sends them off. That's pretty much how I think it should go. Yeah, and it would go. And look at this. This is obviously some sort of shield helicarrier. Yes. Crush. Why yeah. has Magneto just not fucking killed them? Yeah, this is the thing with Magneto. In most of the comics is. He, when he's a villain, he's OP as fucking can handle anything. And when he's a hero, he's fucking got baby yeah, powers. Yeah, but the thing is, he could do <clears throat> anything. He could even just give that a wee shake, hold it above, like, Cap and be like, go on, make a move. You will not get out from under that before I drop it on your fucking head. And Cap goes, you know what? You got a point. I'll back off. I'm going. You know, Magneto doesn't actually have to hurt anyone. No. He could turn that into, like, two million bullets. 
or do whatever the fuck he wants with it. Yeah. So this is the problem with Magneto is he's so powerful that whenever he's in a storyline, you can't believe the storyline because he doesn't go to his full potential. It's hard to explain. Yeah, unless, of course, he's fighting all the X-Men at once. Or yeah, something like or that. if he's taking on, like, a... a Apocalypse. Or... He could, yeah, he could take on Galactus, possibly. You just think? Like, yeah, metal. Just chip away at him. Metal, 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 metal. What is Galactus's ship made of, though? Is it metal or is it another element? Oh, fuck knows. So, obviously, you get these um, synthetic... It would have to be. Plastics. It would be and like, his, like his prison in X-Men 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it'd have to be all like that, but unless... You... So that was the thing they had in the cartoon, which I thought was so fucking clever, um, is when Magneto kidnaps Senator Kelly, and he goes and hides out in a shipyard, and they send sentinels after him, and the sentinels are like, you can't control us because we're made of plastics and poly oly alloys. Uh-huh. Or something. <laughs> and... Mind you, it was like they, so they kind of they, they go to crush him with their hand and then they actually do hit him and then they stay that line and mind you, it was like fine I'll just use one of the ten fucking giant ships here and starts throwing ships at them and you're like yes <laughs> and that's how you do it no it's, it's exactly how you would do it so I I look at this and just think eh, Iron Man's dead instantly and this thing falls and I just it's weird yeah. anyway so, so they, all they have like have this big battle and then then I discovered that Colossus is, is also the juggernaut now yeah he's bald and he's I, got the Citarac stone on his head yes yeah, so what's the deal with that I don't know oh okay see I kind of think so Red Hulk takes on they kind of pair certain characters off who would suit like super fights you know yeah and Red Hulk takes on Colossus but then Colossus busts out the the helmet. The helmet at some point during the fight, and you're like, okay, I feel like Juggernaut and Colossus combined would be pretty decent against the Red Hulk. But isn't the Red Hulk maybe stronger than the original Hulk? Like, the, the basic form. All I know about Red Hulk is he's Thunderbolt Ross. Hmm. I don't know much more than that. He should have the Tash. Yes. Yeah, he, he should. should. absolutely have the giant Tash. Ridiculous Tash. Um, I think the modern day Red Hulk does. Does he? I think so. Um... He's awfully young and handsome. Yeah. And here's another thing. Namor. Why does Namor keep on referring to himself as a mutant? Is he now a mutant? Because he wasn't a mutant when I used to read com- comics regularly. He was an Atlantean. Yes. Yeah, I think because uh, something that happened to Atlantis and he's actually got no place to go. So he just kind of identifies as a mutant. Oh, he identifies as a yes. mutant. Oh, right. Okay. Um, well, I've never liked Namor. He, uh, I mean, I know he starts off as a villain a lot of the time, but I never found him found any charm to him being a face. I've always mm. thought of him as a heel, and I just still think it works. So they have the big battle scene, and actually, in this graphic novel, as far as I can remember, there's a couple of things missing from the actual comic book issue. What's that? I felt like the fight between Iron Man and Magneto was much, much longer, but they hardly have any fight at all I here. I can't imagine how it could be. You're metal. I control metal. Back the fuck off. Well, that last pacifist Magneto, future Magneto, uh, aggressive Magneto would just be like crunch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll see if I can find the iron ball. <laughs> How are you gonna deal with that? Man in a metal suit versus the mutant master of magnetism. If you think this is no contest, you've never met Tony Stark. Oh, now we know. And he's talking about. He's actually wearing like synthetics or something, isn't it? Something he? like that, but that's not mentioned here, and it was mentioned in the other version. Uh, in the like, I think they do sometimes cut out a couple of pages from the comic books to the, graphic, the graphic novel. Well, I'm convinced because I bought this exact one with this cover, mm-hmm. and it's mostly about this fight scene. And I'm sure there was a longer fight scene between Magneto and, and uh, Iron Man. And I remember reading it and being like, "How would Iron Man even win? That is so fucking yeah. bullshit." You so know? they have their fight, but there's a secret Avengers up in space, and what happens to them? Well, they get fucking taken out by the Phoenix Force, basically. And mm-hmm. um, the secret Avengers being uh, Thor, Vision, um, War Machine, the Beast, because obviously he's an Avenger. Is this Carol Danvers here in the space suit? I think it is. I see. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure. Miss Marvel. Who's this fella? Well, uh, that guy there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. And is this female Thor? Yeah, that's Valkyrie, is it not? I don't know. I, I think that's Valkyrie. Anyway, so 
And, and and did I say vision? Yeah, vision. Well, anyway, vision. vision and Thor together is pretty powerful in itself. Yeah, and the no Phoenix, Phoenix force. the Phoenix just absolutely humps them. And during this time, Spider Man and Wolverine, while everyone else is fighting, Spider Man and Wolverine go off and try and find hope. Yeah, and she burns Wolverine. Oh, burns Wolverine to a crisp. Look at the nick of that. Aye. Yeah. And we've actually not got very far into. No, we haven't. So I think we need to try and move on a little bit. Are we? Holy shit. So yeah, they have that. So they they kind of fight, and then they they agree to disagree. It seems, and then go on their separate ways for a little bit in the search of hope. Cat and Wolverine have a fallout because Wolverine thinks that Cat, that Wolverine thinks they need to kill Hope, and Cat obviously wouldn't. So Cat hits him in the face with a crang, which makes sense, you know, because it's metal on metal. It's Vibranium against adamantium. So we've got shkrang, krang, and then ah! whoosh. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> giant. Basically, they have this fight, and I I kind of feel like they they made Wolverine look a little bit weaker than he would be because he's taking some punishment, but he'd shrug it off much better than this. I yeah, feel. But then you know, you gotta remember, Cap will hit him harder than anyone normally hits him because Cap's stronger than most people. Oh, come on. Colossus has never punched Wolverine, so... Uh, no. Wrong. Has he? Yeah, yeah, I had a comic book where him and him and Colossus fought. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in He's some big him. snowstorm. <laughs> He's thrown <laughs> a few times. Special. But then, um, basically, they have a fight and they're kind of arguing and Giant Man kicks Wolverine <laughs> out of the fucking, fucking plane. Field goals on. Just hoofed him out. And the thing Wolver- is, that was dangerous because if Wolverine landed in the water, he's fucked. Wolverine can't deal with water. No? He sinks. I suppose he would, wouldn't he? He would stay permanently drowned. He'd have to be pulled out of the water. That's the thing with... Oh, what film is it? Is it Days Logan? of Future Past? Days of Future Past, where he hits the bottom of the ocean. Uh-huh. He, he he has to stay there till someone gets... Hits the bottom of the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah, to yeah. stay there till Stryker pulls Stryker him out. Stryker pulls him out. Well, Stryker, who is maybe Mystique. Yes. But then by the time they get to the other film... It was obviously definitely strikers, so it's kind of weird. That, yeah, but that, that, that's it. Wolverine, uh, anyway. water fucks them up because that's how he kills the Ken. Is Ken is kid as well, you know Dakin. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's how he kills him. He, he drowns him, and because that's one thing they're sort of susceptible to. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. I knew it was. I could only think of impervious and impervious. Hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm pervious, but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> ba- basically, oh, look at. Basically, Wolverine and Hope just come to me. <laughs> Wolverine and Hope come to a decision that um, Hope's going to try and absorb the power of the Phoenix. Wolverine Skywalker. Yes. Well, Wolverine wears wears a fucking polar bear as a jacket. Yes, that's how <laughs> badass he is. He's just the best, isn't he? <laughs> um, and Wolverine says, "Listen, if I mess this up, you you're going to kill me because I trust you that you'll do it." And Wolverine's like, "Yeah, totally do it." Yep. Kill people. Mm. That's what I do. Um, so Thor tries to fight the but... Phoenix Force. <clears throat> gets fucking owned. Um, some more shit goes down. So we, basically the whole bunch of just fighting between the X-Men and the Avengers and every other superhero that's ever existed. It's apparently got an Avengers card. It's not very exclusive to be in the Avengers, is it? No, no. Are you in the Avengers? Sometimes. Ah, right, okay. But I can't tell you about it. I'd have to kill you. Okay. It's, it's Cap hits the rule, but it's the rule. Well, uh, Cap seems like a stickler for those type of things. Yeah. I'm actually a, a mutant. Oh, okay. Mm. That explains it. Yeah. It's like uh, just being members of these secret clubs. Like, uh, I went to my first ever fight club not that long ago. Oh, did you? I love fight club. It's so much fun. I'll show you where it is. I'll take you along sometime. Okay. I missed the opening rules and everything like that, but I'm sure fight club's a great place to be. Well, you're known be. for arriving late. Yeah. So. Okay. We'll go. We'll go. Hmm. They won't mind me coming, will they? No, not at all. I'm allowed to talk about it, I think. Well, it's a club, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, it's uh, the orientation. If you, if you don't tell people about the club, how will they know to go to the club? Exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. We'll try and be there for the opener next week. Yeah, we should. Uh, that's actually a pretty dope picture. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a giant fucking rampant rabbit, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about... Jo- J- jugger a- losses. Jugger losses. Ooh, I like it. Jugger losses. Yes. Colonot sounds a bit more. Colonot. Sounds like a, a medical condition. Or mm. <laughs> look at this fucking mix of fucking random teams there. Yeah. Bullshit. The and Avengers. why did they end up on the moon? 
Um, that's where the Phoenix is going to. Uh, that's where they think they can intercept it have best. They measured the trajectory of the Phoenix. I think they space. have, and basically, as they're all fighting, you've got the Avengers versus the X Men, and Hope and Wolverine are trying to get to the Phoenix Force first. Tony Stark and Giant Man have created some weapon that's going to scatter the Phoenix Force. Well, they hope it destroys it. But well, it, 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 it destroys it. Sorry, it scatters it, right? The word scatter wasn't the word I wanted to use, actually. I wanted to use... Fragmented. Yes. There yes, that's a beautiful word. So they do that, and... Um, when This is when the Phoenix Force arrives. Yeah. And, and what happens? It splits in five, doesn't it? Yes, and it creates... The Phoenix Five. Yeah, which... Now, tell you something, right? Because they've been putting all these X-Men together, and so you've got your Phoenix Five, who are Cyclops, Magic, his sister... You've got uh, Cyclops, Emma Frost, and wait, what's the look for? You said Cyclops, Magic, his sister. Did I say Cyclops? I meant Colossus. Yeah, yeah. I thought I said Colossus. No, no, you didn't. Colossus, well, Magic, we'll find out. Cyclops, Emma Frost, and Namor. Namor. And Namor. Yeah. Um, if that had hit Magneto. <sighs> well, Magneto's hardly in the fucking whole story. Yeah, I think he takes a back seat a lot of times and just be like, yeah, yeah this. I'm too good for this shit. Well, he's probably like, I've made a lot of mistakes. Mm-hmm. I feel like I should just hang fire and uh, watch from afar. Probably takes a helmet off. As soon as he takes a helmet off, Charles is right in his head because he's always just trying to get in his head. Do nothing. He's... Do nothing. And he's just like, Charles, you should see this. This is quite interesting. And Charles says, oh, let me see, let me see. And he shares his eye with him and they oh, just watch yeah. it together. Munch imaginary, you know, Xavier's sitting in the mansion just eating popcorn. And That's probably true, right? Watching what's going on, like, Uatu. I like it when they're pals. And then you've got this imagery here, which is pretty nice of the Phoenix Five. Yes. Uh, with hope. Mm-hmm. And Cyclops is basically like, I'm a god. Fuck y'all. Yeah, and with Cyclops, is kind of attitude to things. That's never a good sign. And then Cyclops basically becomes 90s Magneto. Oh, it feels like literally he, he speaks he just, the same. Yes, yeah, like mutants are superior and we're going to shape the world in our own image or how we want it to be. So we're midway through the graphic novel and... You'll Mag- be glad to know. Yep, absolutely. Um, and Magneto is um, seems to spend a lot of his time on his own outside of Utopia. Is he just making sure that everything is spinning and floating at this? Probably, yeah. He's and just maybe, staying out of trouble. He's maybe just making sure it isn't upsetting the... the poles of the earth and the earth's still gonna go his normal way and everything well, could, maybe that's why he didn't wasn't able to use his powers properly let's assume that he was doing something really important like that like keeping the world together well in the element series uh-huh ultimatum storyline okay if i remember rightly is where he knocks the earth off its axis oh, he uses right. his power of magnetism to, i remember this actually and it just causes Chaos and Carnage and the Ultimatum storyline kills off so many characters. Really? Yeah, so many characters, uh, including him. They they get to him and uh, he gets killed off as well, if I remember rightly. Probably should have said this would be a heavy spoiler. Ep- oh, episode. come on, it came out like... Well, the Ultimate stuff, that's... Well, I suppose whoever's going to listen to this probably has read everything the more than us. They're yeah, listening going, guys... Guys, you've missed a bit. You've yes. Missed, you've missed a key quote. Crucial, crucial part. Well, yeah, this is when Xavier turns up. Is he, oh, is he to here at this Magneto. point? Magneto. When did Xavier get the power to walk again? When he did something. Ah, yeah. good. Yeah. So, it, it seems the Phoenix Five went around the Earth and provided it with enough crops, enough food, free energy, all the type of stuff that you think would just make life better. Everything was readily available to everyone and there was no reason to fight for anything. Yeah? Mm Mm-hmm. But apparently that's shit, according to Charles. I'm not sure it's the worst thing to ever have done. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. But we can discuss that a little bit later. (laughs) And then pretty much Captain America's like, this is bullshit. We, we, we're the Avengers. We have the X-Men taking all the glory. At least this is how I see it. <laughs> so we're going to fuck up their day. And then there's a whole bunch of Iron Fist stuff. Basically, they all kind of think that the, the Phoenix Five can't be so powerful and go unchecked. You know, so that that's the thing. No one's All right, fine. Them. That's that's how it actually is. Fine. Yeah. So I'll stick up for you, Cap. Got your back, bro. Fuck you, Cap. 
I'm trying to make a bit. <laughs> I'm trying to make a better world here. All right, okay. I'm trying to rule it as a god. Right, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I know best. Yeah, you probably don't. You should maybe discuss it. Democracy committees, voting. I asked the Donald. He said I was the smartest. That's not going to. Matter. Well, if you're in a room with just him, you'd obviously you're going to be the smartest. Still, if anyone's in a room with just him, they're obviously going to be the smartest. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, wait, whoa. He's smarter than Hillary. He did win. Figured out a way to win. Yeah. Figured out a way to win. Figured it out. Let's call it that. <laughs> You're giving me that look. <laughs> just jokes, folks. Just jokes. Yeah, he is dumb, though. What? Jesus. What? I'm talking about you now. Oh, right. That's fine. <laughs> so, what was it you said about Cap? What was, his, what was his bullshit reason for being a dick? Just don't call me Jesus. Oh, um, right. No, it's the Phoenix power cannot go unchecked. They need to be reined in. Right, fair who, enough. Who will watch the Watchmen? Who will police the police? Yes, all that kind of stuff. That's fine. Who will Phoenix Five? The Phoenix Five. See, that doesn't work. So what? Cap, fucking go home. Find a better cap, cap line, catch line, catch phrase, cap phrase, cap phrase, cap, cap phrase. phrase. Mm. Nice. I'm surprised I've not used that. That's because it's is that your, shit. Is, no, like, imagine Tony Stark just busting out like, is that your cap phrase? <laughs> and everyone's kind of like language, what? language. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, basically, they're still arguing, all this kind of shit, and um, Wanda pops up in a rather 90s outfit. And... I, I don't know about Wanda. My bad. What Just did you do? Hit the microphone. Oh, right. Sorry, guys. I don't know about Wanda. Okay. Like, why is she suddenly so powerful? She's always been powerful. Just more reluctant about her powers. Remember? She used to be a noob. Yeah, like her and Quicksilver were always like oppressed by their dad in a way. Mm-hmm. You know, when he was a total, total dick and that. So mm-hmm. I think she's still finding the extents of her powers. Kind of like Jean Grey, you know, she had the mental blocks in place. Yeah, I suppose. And that. So, and it's, it's how the comics evolve. You know, Magneto starts off as a master of magnetism and becomes possibly the most powerful mutant. Well, a lot of time he is described as the most powerful mutant. Yeah. And then, because for ages they never really said that Apocalypse was a mutant. It was just, he was something. Mm-hmm. And know? then, like, Cyclops can just shoot lasers out of his eyes, but he becomes, like, quite a big character. And, you know, it's just, and I know it's not lasers, it's whatever it is. Beam. Concussive blasts yes, of energy. It. And he um, uses his ruby quartz glasses to hold it all in place. Although, surely, surely the whole time his eyes would still be blasting against those glasses on the inside. Does it nullify his power temporarily? Yeah. Well, Does why it need would he bother... air to work? Cause... Why would he need the visor if his... I mean, he wears the specs a whole bunch of the time. Or just specs. They're, the ma- they're made of the same stuff. Yeah, I know, but they're not... I mean, they're just loose on his face. How does it stop well, I think I think, I think they are kind of covered. They, are, they do cover the, ser- the same area, but... Yeah, it depends it, who draws it. Yeah, this is true. It's a load of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I used to like Cyclops, and then he'd be, oh, what? who was that? Was that thing getting destroyed? What? No. No, no, that was, um... No, that was... I think it was Namor. Is it? Is it the Phoenix Force getting knocked out of him by Wanda? No, it's... it's it's. Because he goes mental. Yeah, it's Namor. Namor comes across the Scarlet Witch and she basically just... Did he wipe it off and apologise? Pings him. All oh, right. Uh, <laughs> well done. Like... So basically, Wanda t- t- turns up out of nowhere and bitch slaps Namor. He freaks the fuck out because he's really proud and decides to, s- to destroy Wakanda because, you know, he's a dick. Because Black Panther's not really been in it much yet. Yeah, and let's get some Black Panther stuff and yeah. then go to Wakanda. And I thought, at a glance, that was maybe Storm. Oh, wow. That's totally weird, right? You know who I'm that's, talking about. That's like Storm and Beast. Yeah, put together. Steast. So. Storm. Na- Beam. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Namor attacks Wakanda. And then someone who I never, I don't even know his name right now. Um, Thunder? Yeah, Thunderer. Who's Thunderer? He's one of he's he's friends with the Iron Fist. He's Thunderer. He was he's Iron Fist's trainer because he's referred to in the TV series. Oh, is he? He's the one that you know when Danny's speaking to the 
the mystic guy who's not about. I you stopped it just at the wrong time. Anyway, Danny has these conversations with someone six hours not. in. I stopped six hours in. I think that's pretty fucking dedicated for a heap of pish. It's not dedicated. It's a fair whack though. Uh, dedicated is to finish that heap of pish. Yeah, but I but wa- Thunderer was. Have you watched tuned. every series of the Netflix Disney, uh, Marvel Universe? Yes. Everyone. Every single one. I've. You didn't watch. Luke Cage? Uh, we reviewed Luke Cage on a podcast. Who didn't watch Luke Cage then? I don't know, but I've seen everything. Oh, right. Fuck. Well, I there goes my moral high ground. I know, right? Fuck you. Because <laughs> I made a point of watching, making sure I got Iron Fist put away before Defenders came out, so that I'd seen everything I knew what was going on. See, I just I just thought, I wasn't even planning to watch Defenders because Iron Fist was that bad. Oh, no. Defenders was good. And then I just, I good. somehow randomly, I can't remember why, I ended up not going away that weekend. And staying and watching. Anyway, so Thunderer, I've never heard of him before, is all like, we need to go to Kung Lung. And I'm like, really? More? I've never heard of Kung Lung in my entire, in my entirety of being a comic book fan. And maybe, I don't know, it's because I stopped reading comic books in 2000 yeah. when I got an apartment and basically all my money went on bills and booze and chasing skirts, you know? Mm-hmm. And I stopped buying comic books because... Skirts don't like the comic books. I don't know, I just, do you know, I kind of felt like, well, you're a man now, John, and you probably need to stop reading comic books and all this kind of shit, and, and then I... Just imagine you sitting down with yourself and be like, son, now that you're a man... (laughs) Pretty much that's what I did, and I was like, what do you need, like, basically, one month I lived on just beans and toast, like, that's how broke I was, so I couldn't afford 25 bucks a month for my titles, and then after, after missing three or four months, it's like, oh, how do I pick up again, and I just, you know... Get along to... Big dog books and get a subscription going that, again. That would be a good idea mm. indeed. Yes, it would. Um, well, I've, I'm, that's why I'm getting all the important graphic novels and trying to catch yeah. up a little bit. Um, and I know Andrew uh, will be. He's giving me a hard time. That's one of the one of the guys, uh, one of the wrestlers I know mm. who listens to the podcast. Um, shout out. He's always like, man, you need to fucking catch up. You need to get past 1995 already. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. Oh look, Avengers Cap- assemble! Cap shouting it again. So yeah, we get some Wakanda flavor. We get some Kung Lung fa- flavor just because obviously movies and TV shows. So let's. Well, the TV show wasn't in shoehorn this play bullshit at this in there. Point. Yeah, but they were obviously looking towards doing this. They were mm, maybe yeah. The plan was to have the Daredevil series and have all the other offshoots. That wasn't announced until like 2013, 2014. But they'd have probably yeah. they would have already had a plan in advance, right? I think. Anyway, so. You never know. They all attack Namor, and they being the Thing, the Red Hulk, uh, Cap, who else is here? Uh, Quicksilver, Valkyrie, du- what? <laughs> <laughs> You'd like that. That's quality. Defender's picture with a tick on Daredevil, a tick on Jessica Jones, a tick on Luke Cage, and a cross on Iron Fist. Because he's the mortal Iron Fist and he's a ball bag. Um, yeah, so Vision, Beast, Daredevil, Spider-Man, Red Hulk, Thor... Thing, Falcon, Doctor Strange, who is distinctly underpowered in this, just like Magneto. Right, okay. Because he is doesn't he, do anything. Are you not? No, he doesn't do anything. He Occasionally, he, he provides a couple of portals. <laughs> um, Quicksilver, they all attack Namor and they manage to defeat him with the help of Wanda. But, well, mainly the help of Wanda. See, I, I always find the word defeat quite funny. Because in my fucking warped brain, it's like they pinned him down and chopped his feet off. Yes. Defeated him. Yes. This is fucked up. Dad jokes, yes. No, not even a dad joke, mm. just where my mind goes with these. Yes. A but dad def- joke would be Oh dear. Which side of the turkey has the most feathers? The Dumb. outside. <sighs> okay. Enjoy it, Steve. You know you're giggling. If you, if you want to find out what this noise is, check out our previous Game of Thrones podcast. What's the. Was he there? Ah, it was episode 7, wasn't it? He's really going for it. I can make him giggle. Beeps. So Wanda manages to defeat one-fifth of the Phoenix Force. So that's interesting to note that all those 
Avengers that I mentioned and Wanda are powerful enough to defeat one fifth of it. Yes. Interesting, eh? I would yeah. never have, compl- have, have considered that. However, what happens next? To However, that, fifth? that extra portion <laughs> goes into the other members of the Phoenix Five, which is now the Phoenix Four, presumably. Yep. Which basically means that Cyclops, Colossus, Emma Frost, and Magic are now more powerful than they previously were. Yes. So our heroes all disappear and hide out in Kung Lung, and the Phoenix Four can't locate them for some reason. Basically, because it seems to be that Kung Lung hides under the radar yes, of everywhere through its mysticism. <clears throat> and then we kind of come to a point where... One of my favourite... Like, oh, this is the thing, right? So the Avengers are hiding out in Kung Lung, or what's left of them, and they decide they need to go and rescue the rest of the Avengers who have been captured by Colossus and, well, the Phoenix Four, right? Yeah. So they lead a party to go and do this, and in this sort of period of time, Hope is training with Thunderer to tr- be a better fighter and know how to accept the power of the Phoenix Force once it comes to her, etc, etc, etc. And Spider-Man kind of has the the chat with her. You know, the... When well, I first I joined the Avengers... Oh, right, no, yeah, no, 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 not that right. one. No, no. Um, so when I first joined the Avengers, I was kind of not told what was happening and I was, you know, not acknowledged and blah, 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 blah. But I, when my time came, I knew when it came and I knew to get involved and do the X, Y, and Z. And, you know, your time I will come. I had great and power and with that great power With the comes. responsibility and the whole... I got Amazing Spider-Man for free today. The DVD with Andrew Garfield, brand new. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. How come? From my television provider. Oh. They were giving it. They're giving it away free. So if you are on a television provider that is made up of three letters, go on their store and have a look, and you may be able to get it to download it to your telly box and get the free DVD sent out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's just clearing the stocks and. Uh, making way for the one that comes out next month Homecoming is it next month it next comes month, out oh, October shit. 7th it's a fucking good film eh? yeah I'm getting that on Blu-ray I really want to I really want to get uh, Logan actually Logan and Spidey Homecoming are two that I'm definitely getting on Blu-ray and I think I'm going to get the Cap trilogy as well oh really yeah Cap second two are definitely worth oh, it oh yeah I know so the first one just to have this trilogy box set I kinda I, I'm pretty much just gonna wait till the very end it's gonna be so expensive in 2030 yeah. and buy the whole thing see I can't wait till then to watch them all again and they're to be honest by then it'll be like 4k or 8k definition or 20k definition insane, right? just have a point there's no point yeah everyone will just be ubiquitous anyway keep moving on so, Spider-Man gives Hope the talk, and I kind of think to myself when I'm reading it, huh, feels like Spidey's going to die because no one, the Phoenix Forces came to Earth, and no one's died yet. Yes. What's that fucking all about? All right? So, they, they go on this mission to try and rescue Thor and a whole bunch of the other heroes, and... Um, they end up in a cave, don't they? Well, it's some sort of hell cave, which is controlled by magic. Ah, right, yeah. As in the character Magic. Let's call her Magic. 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 It's probably how they would say it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know. Let's say Magic. Magic. Just to make things easier. So, th- th- they go in there with Xavier and they try they try and rescue the rest of the Avengers, which they manage to do as Colossus and Magic are fighting amongst themselves and bickering. And basically, Spider-Man pops in there, gives him a couple of cheeky blows, gets and up. does his usual banter, gets fucked up. Gets a punch to the face that looks like it should have killed him. Yes. Gets stomped on his spine, the whole thing. But he manages to cause enough tension between Colossus and Magic that they fight each other, and... FABOOM! Means that they've defeated each other in some way, shape or form. Which is good for Spider-Man at the time, because therefore them two are knocked out. Spider-Man is able to escape. Mm-hmm. doesn't die. Which yeah, is kinda... but honestly, when I was reading that, I was like, oh. Well, he oh, gave her the talk, oh. right? I know, and then and he should have died. He should have, like, a punch from Colossus normally would kill someone. And yeah, Spider-Man's slightly stronger and he's superhuman in that, but still. A yeah. Phoenix Force punch where he's probably not holding anything back. I think he must have been. I just assume that Colossus, because Colossus hits him, not Magic. Mm-hmm. So Colossus is probably holding back massively. 
Maybe. I and think. apparently the, the Citrac gem won't cooperate with the Phoenix Force, so it won't activate. Oh, right, okay. I read that somewhere else. It's not in this. Still, right, Colossus not. doesn't need it. He's yeah, I know. Phoenix Force and he's fucking Colossus. But, okay, so you've, you've got rid of two more Phoenix Force members, but then Emma, Emma Frost and Cyclops are now 50-50, the Phoenix Force, which is an immense amount of power. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So much power. You guys, you know. You know what the Phoenix Force can do. You know. So, <clears throat> pretty much, Cyclops manages to find Kun Lung, while Emma Frost is just going crazy and, like, killing random people for, like, if one guy ran over a mutant by accident one day and hit it, and then she goes and kills him at his dinner table, you know. Emma Frost just went totally postal. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's seeking only adoration from everyone and you see a scene where all the other X-Men are bowing down to her and they're not even allowed to have a negative thought about her or any of the situation. Yeah. You know? And for me, Emma Frost has always been a villain. I don't know why she is an X-Man. She's never... Her, her look, her demeanour, her power it's, set, nothing yeah. about her seems... She goes full pelt villain. Um, in one of the stories I read recently, the... Fuck. It's the one where I talked about it. It's Avengers versus Inhumans. She goes full pelt villain at the end of that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I haven't read much about her since then, actually. Uh... Well, she has a little chat with Magneto who's kind of saying to her, I've been here and I've made mistakes, so you should listen to me. And then she gives it the old, yeah, well, you made mistakes, so cram it. Uh... (laughs) And uh, he can't do shit all about it. Normally Magneto has got, well... You're going to listen... Oh, oh, that's a pretty sweet outfit. What's that all about? That's her going full pelt badass with Cyclops' ex, like, ex-helmet and then just full bondage gear as well. Because because bondage gear. Yeah, basically yeah. because bondage gear. She doesn't need armour or anything like that. She's got a diamond skin, but still, you know, each to their own. Why not? So, while, uh, while Emma Frost is basically mugging off the entire world... Cyclops is taking out all of our heroes at Kung Lung until, and I'm going to get this wrong, Shao Lao. Shao Lao. Shao Lao, the dragon of the Iron Fist, of the Mortal Iron Fist, Iron Fist. Yes. Ridden by Thunderer and Hope. Is that Thunderer? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I just hate everything to do with Kung Lung. Yeah, you've never mentioned that before. I really before. do. I just, I just... Do, do you know why? Because it seems like they've made... A no name, nobody character, really powerful, and it feels. I feel like he's been shoehorned into everything. Mm-hmm. Like reading this, I'm like, there's no. I don't. I don't get it. He's not. I don't, I don't buy it. Anyway, so Hope manages to to absorb the powers of Shao 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 Lao Shao and with that and the power of Wanda, she manages manages to defeat Cyclops, yes. who is still only fifty percent power. So. Basically, when they see this, they're like, right, fuck it, we're going to go to Utopia and take out Cyclops and Emma Frost. We've got the power of Shao Lao, we've got the power of, of uh, Wanda, we've got Xavier, we've got the rest of the team, we've got everyone back, Thor, uh, Red Hulk. Captain America goes and asks the Green Hulk for help. Um, and I, I don't know why the Green Hulk wasn't part of the team. I don't know, he's probably um, trying to stay out of it. But, uh, but Captain America's like, really be sweet if you could help us and Hulk's like yeah okay yeah I think he's trying to stay like almost away so he's from trying everybody. to stay away from everyone yeah like, he's in the desert it's probably one of these times where he's tried to isolate himself yeah yeah I, th- I bet it probably happened like literally before I know Rogue looks super hot in this right um, and then the X-Men the rest of the X-Men decide to join the Avengers as well so you basically just got everyone against Phoenix Cyclops and Phoenix Emma Frost yes and Magneto's just doing hee haw yep apparently so they, they attack Utopia and something happens which I thought would mean more, but I've got to say I just I didn't it didn't really hit any nerve Over with me. There. Yeah. Well before that happens though, they're getting defeated and Cyclops defeats Emma himself. That's not happened yet. Has that not happened yet? Don't think so. I know she's still there. Yeah. Ah right, okay, so but that doesn't happen here either. No. No, I suppose you're right. So basically, they have a big massive fight between Cyclops and Emma against the rest of the X-Men, the Avengers. You've got, obviously, Wanda and, and, and Hope, mm-hmm. who are really very powerful. And it's going pretty well. 
pretty darn well. The Hulk's there, the Red Hulk's there, Magneto turns on them as well. So everyone is against the two Phoenix Force members. And it's just a little bit of a stretch for the powers to not be combined. Mm -hmm. So Cyclops decides that, you know what, I need all the power for myself if I'm going to fix this world. Yes. Because that's still what he believes. Mm -hmm. He is the villain... He is that villain that believes that he's doing things for the greater good, which is your most dangerous good. villain, yes. you know? And he he is very much written like Magneto. Mm -hmm. So, which well, is Magneto funny from because 95. he should be more like Xavier. Yes. It turns out he's like Magneto but the whole time. But he's been the opposite, and almost Wolverine is more like mm -hmm. Xavier, Xavier mm -hmm. you know? So he attacks Emma Frost and absorbs her powers, so then you've got the full Phoenix, like he becomes the Dark Phoenix. Yes. And his first act is to kill Xavier. Yeah. <sighs> the thing is, Xavier at this point, he's kind of depowered. He's kind of not part of the whole thing. Is he depowered? I don't know if he is or not. Maybe he's not, actually. Um, I think he's just using his power. No, he's not using his mental powers there. I think he's just using his power as a kind of father figure there. I don't think he's got powers at this stage. And he's so, spe speaking to him in his mind, though. He's not. Yeah. Earlier on, he is. Is he? Yeah, I believe mm. so. But I, I think it's more just like um, they, it's almost like they brought him back just to kill him. Yeah, and it, it, it kind of seemed like he's part time anyway now. Yeah, no, he's hardly in the comic book. Like they're functioning without him. Why have the, if he if Cyclops had killed, for example, Thor, the Hulk, um, comes back to what we were talking about with the Infinity War, Iron Man. It comes. Yeah, you need to kill one of the current. Absolute like main me roster members, yeah. Magneto maybe, because mm -hmm. Magneto was actually is still active yes. as an X Man, so it just didn't really have much of an impact for me. Mm -hmm. It didn't. It has an impact in subsequent storylines as far as like people's perception of Cyclops and you know the fact that he starts off like Uncanny X Men series in jail and things like that. You know mm -hmm. he's always known as the murderer of Charles Xavier. Mm -hmm. But the, you know the thing that bothers me is that with all the X Men and Avengers combined, and you've got Wanda and Shao Lao, Hope Summers attacking Cyclops with the full Phoenix Force, they manage to defeat him. Yes. And I just don't buy that. I think Cyclops weakens the Phoenix Force. I think his body must weaken the Phoenix Force in some way. That that's why it was seeking out Hope. Because she's... Well, that's what Hope keeps saying. They keep saying that it's still trying to find her. Yes. Whereas I think anyone else's body isn't strong enough. I think it's more to do with their mental capacity because Jean Grey had... You know, she was meant to be the most powerful... Yeah. Telekinetic slash telepath combination. Yeah, because if you've got a massive body of water but it has to pass through a funnel, it's never going to be as powerful when it comes out the other end of the funnel. Like, or is big in volume. So, like, Cyclops is a bit of funnel. He's dampening the power of the Phoenix Force, whereas Hope or even Jean are either channeling it or amplifying it, hmm. in a way. That's, that's my reasoning for why they're able to defeat the Phoenix Force and also use the No More Phoenix line to reflect. Is that what that's Wanda's, cheesy. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, is that what Wanda's going to do for everything? She's just sitting there like... <laughs> Looking at her body, unhappy with her body shape, and she's like, no more fat. You know? Well... <laughs> that was a big shit, and it's all done. They managed to they managed to defeat Cyclops, and the Phoenix Force goes into hope as she's been preparing for it. Mm -hmm. And then, you're right, they do the uh, no more Phoenix. Yes. Which is just really lame. Yes. And then we finish off with... Cyclops some inhumans? No. No. Right. So we finish off with Cyclops in jail, speaking with Cap and Wolverine. It's kind of sweet, and the fact that mutants are starting to pop up again, which was Hope's intention in the first place. She yes. was wanting to take the Phoenix Force to try and reignite mutant kind because she was called Hope because she was the first one born after House of M, and then she went off with Cable, and he raised her basically in time, so he raised her in the future, um, and then brought her back. So that's why she's old. Right. Or all there. All there, yeah, yeah. Um, but that, that's also why she was called Hope. Which she was the first one they found when it was the the post-House of M. They hadn't quite found a utopia yet, but they knew there was only 192. 
And she was 193rd or something like that. So, I read this, right? I read it in two parts, actually. I, I read half of it just the weekend there and the rest of it before. And i got to say that I'm... I'm pretty disappointed. It's not the best one. It's, it's the fight. The fights. The I fights think. aren't very good. It feels like they've tried to. They've crammed in certain characters like Iron Fist and Black Panther, who just weren't important. Well, I think Iron Fist was for the whole connection to. Shao Lao. Yeah. Maybe so. I just. I don't know. I just. Because it's the same as Spidey. He gets involved in Spider Man. When Spidey loses his spider sense. Right, okay. And he gets involved because Parker has to learn how to fight properly now. He's never needed to learn because his body's always reacted to the spider sense and the the, the immediate danger. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have that, so he actually has to go and learn how to fight properly. Um, so that's where Iron Fist comes into Spider-Man's world and things like that. He seems to almost be like the, the trainer. Of other heroes. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I felt like the artwork was really quite shoddy through most of it. Not very consistent. The X-Men weren't <coughs> the proper X-Men. The Avengers were beefed up too much. Mm-hmm. But even then they couldn't defeat the X-Men, which just kind of said... Like, there was came to a standstill. Yeah. Cause my argument has always been the X-Men would trash the Avengers. There's usually more of them as well. X, there's... Well, depends. Well, that was one of the things I wanted to discuss with you. I, I was going to suggest that we do the original Avenger team versus the original X-Men team. Ooh. Like another podcast for another time? Or? Yeah, another podcast yeah. for another time. Yeah, thinking that. Because <laughs> I didn't realise that it would take so long to go through all the different parts of the graphic novel. Yeah, especially when the video we watched was only six minutes. Just six minutes. How did the guy do it? I skipped a lot of detail. Yeah, and we also talked about a lot of different yeah, things yeah, we, in between we it. we meandered. Yeah. Hmm? We meandered. We meandered, yes. So I think Magneto was painfully underutilised. Lots of uh, it's just It's just m- messy writing, I think. It just felt like they wanted to put the X-Men versus the Avengers because they knew people would buy it. Yes. And not really do anything with it. And they wanted to kind of boost the whole there Marvel sh- Now thing that was coming up as well. They should have had more deaths. Yes. I keep thinking that's Red Skull. Oh, yeah. So... What's the Marvel Now? So this 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 launched the Marvel Now yeah, series, which, which but just... nothing. What actually changed in it? Xavier got killed, and the Phoenix Force is gone. Like nothing really happened. Marvel Now was mainly a launch of new lines of comic series. So you had like, if I remember rightly, you had like Extraordinary X Men, Uncanny X Men. They had all these different branches. Um, I can't remember all of them, top of my head, but it was just a kind of a focus point again. Bring it all in and start going. Like now, on the back of Secret Empire, you're going to have Legacy series, X-Men, uh, Marvel Legacy. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, I, I don't know too much about it, to be honest, but the artworks I've seen have been like Spidey and Miles Morales, classic Wolverine and X-23, you know, okay. uh, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop, things like that. Um, so it's like some sort of like the mentor series. Yeah, something like that. Do you know? I'm quite happy the, with the fact that I still live in the nineties for my comic yeah. books, and I'm still catching up because at that point in time, it was still all new stuff. Yeah, it wasn't always let's restart it every so often. Yeah, I think there's still still places to go with the current stuff. Um, it seems like the only way, the only things that are interesting is. Like Elseworld storylines or crazy versus team ups, and I know there was lots of team ups previously. There's always been team ups. Yeah, team ups are the the cross, the, the sort of like the comic equivalent of TV crossovers. You yeah, know? Mm-hmm. and that's cool, and that that kind of gets gets you pumped and whatever. I mean, I'm about to read the He Man versus Thundercats. Yeah, well, sorry, Masters of the Universe versus Thundercats comic book. And I can't wait to see Skeletor absolutely own Lionel. <laughs> um, it, it's going to be sweet. But, yeah, I feel like modern comic books don't have original stories. Kind of like how modern cinema, unless it's... Modern cinema doesn't really have anything original happening. And they still do. Um, it's just... It's easier to get money from a remake because there's a fan base behind it already. 
So the original stuff kind of gets shrouded or kind of lost in that sort of void. Not void, but lost in the noise. Okay, so let's round up this comic book and then and then uh, score it. Right, okay. Because there'll, be there'll be a few graphic novels we'll probably manage to cover over um, over time. That'd be quite good. I'd love if you could get modernised we could go over like sort of Civil War, Civil War 2. I've Civil read War. Civil War. Well, we could go over that in Civil War 2. Well, it was a long time ago I read it though. Right. I read it when it came out. In Secret Empire as well. Yeah, what you you're doing your dance, you're doing the I need to pee dance, yeah, aren't you? I sure am. I'm trying to stretch this out. <laughs> right, so good points and bad points. Good points. <laughs> Stay close to the mic. <laughs> Some of the later animation in that graphic novel is pretty the animation artwork is pretty sweet. Okay. Um, I like the overall idea of having these big team up fighting and things like that. I felt the execution was pretty poor and it was mainly focused on a very big group of Avengers versus a very small group of X-Men. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> how can you not hold? The, I, how can you terrible. not hold your pee? So. Your good points and bad points. Um, well, I was going to try and borrow his for the good points anyway. And the good points, yeah, the, the artwork was quite good in parts. Um, although I preferred the 90s artwork which was kind of a blend of some of it was kind of more of a anime manga style and some of it was that Rob Layfield style with like I like lots of pouches I like giant guns I like obscenely sized muscles and breasts and big asses and tiny waists and no feet and I like Rob Layfield's kind of style of 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 and I, I, maybe I'm getting his name, pronouncing his name wrong, but I've never heard it said. I've only ever read it. I like his style of artwork, so this artwork sucked for me. Um, you wash your hands? Yes. Did you? Yes, I wash my hands. Okay, just making sure. If you okay, just because you're buck <laughs> buckling up there awfully quick, son, awfully quick. Um, just saying that I don't like the artwork. Um, I preferred the Rob Layfield style of art artwork of and the manga style of artwork that See, they used to do in the late 90s. Say, this stuff looks more manga here, but... No, it doesn't. It looks fucking shit. I mean, I don't do, like do, that. But... Do you know when they started... When it, when the Rob Layfield stuff kind of blended with the manga, so it was kind of like hot, like massive buff manga? Buffed up manga, that was the good stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cyclops is all skinny and shit in that. Iceman, he becomes one of the most kind of... In some stories, he is... Like Omega level as well. He's like one of the most powerful. Well, mutants. he should have been. Uh, he becomes Ice Master, and that's him kind of unlocked his full potential and his ability to not just control ice, but to control moisture in the air. <sighs> that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like I I, I like uh, Ice Man. Yeah, it's, and 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 in the movies, he's really cool. Sean Ashmore. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Um, so <sighs> artwork I didn't like. Some of it was qu quite cool. They managed to make the Phoenix Force look really good, actually. Yeah. Most of the fire was really good. I'll give them that. And I suppose the bodies of the heroes are are, are more realistic, but it's yes. just not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, again, what you were saying, the storyline, the concept is good, the execution is bad. Mm -hmm. um, there were, it felt like there was no stakes the entire time. Especially mm. for a reset. No one died, nothing happened, played it too safe, um, and the X-Men team was ha like maybe 25% of some of, their, some of their members was on the Avengers anyway. Yeah. So I didn't dig it so much. Like Wanda, she's, she's a mutant. So she's, is she ever actually an X-Man though? I don't think she is. I think she's an Avenger. She's Avengers, yeah. Uh, and she's a villain for the X-Men, but I don't she's yeah, actually ever in the X-Men properly. She, no, I don't think so either. She's our team member. Anyway, so... <clears throat> the, in the bad points, like I said, I, I didn't like the artwork, and I didn't... I Overall, and I, I don't like the story, and Charles Xavier dying, well, he didn't seem that important in the actual no, graphic it novel anyway. I didn't feel... If it had been mid-90s, it would have been like, whoa! Yeah, but he was hardly in it anyway, yeah. so killing him off didn't really matter so much. Like, yeah. If they killed off Cap... Or 
Why would Cyclops not kill Wolverine just out of principle? I know I, I would. I think the I think Spidey should have died. Spidey should have died at that part as well because he he, he, he was, passed the mantle. Yeah. He was he, well, he gave her the chat, you know. Yeah. The the old grizzled vet chat. <laughs> um, yeah. So for me, I'm going to give the graphic novel out of ten. We should do graphic novels out of five. Up to you. Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. Let's do it out of ten. I'm going to give it on the banana meter. <laughs> That's a spoiler horn, actually. Um, I'm going to give it f- four. Four. And that's me being generous. See, I get caught. Maybe, these, maybe even a three. I would go for a six. Really? Yeah. I still, I still enjoyed a lot of it. I enjoyed the big fights and that. And I know people were underused and things, but I still, still, I still love those big fight scenes and the big group getting involved and in that. Just seeing people involved, like... I don't think you use the Phoenix Force in this as the antagonist. To me, it's not the. It's a watered down Phoenix Force. The Phoenix Force is the force mixed with Jean Grey. That's when it becomes the fe- the Phoenix Force. Yes, I think she amplifies it, like I was saying earlier. Mm. So yeah, there we have it. So we've got a three, three and a half, um, three and a half, yeah. and a six. Mm-hmm. So that's nine and a half. Which one, are you, 20. which one of you guys is going to be noting these down? Because you know we aren't. Yeah, yeah. Stu. Nine and a half out of 20. So it's a fail. Sorry to say, Avengers versus X-Men. It's not a fresh tomato. It's n- uh, what? It's not a ripe banana. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Silly. silly boy, yeah. silly boy. It's tougher to do on a Wednesday, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just, mine's not quite freed up no. from work. Because Friday's goof off day, right? And for me, it's office day. Yeah. So, anyway, that was our te- our attempt at reviewing a graphic novel that we've both read only once. <laughs> um, and me, it was a long time ago. I don't know how it went. I hope it was entertaining for you all. Um, Just kind of went off and done at times. A few tangents there. Yes. A little bit of banter. Tangential. We would love to hear from you. Um, I would love if someone could tell me why this was really good. Because I, I think it's shit. I would love if someone told us what to and do next. In fact, the more, the more I think about it, I Stop thought I want to make it look... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Knew where you were going with that. People only got time for thinking. S- got to slash points off it. Yeah, but we've got a few weeks before we start the DCEU movie oh, review series. Don't. We've got a few weeks before that starts. Yeah. So if there's anything that you folks want us to cover in the meantime... Just holla, holla, holla at your boy. Oh, the one thing I didn't want to ask you is, the X, you'd think the X-Men would win, right? Like, that yeah. team there, Cyclops, um, Emma Frost, Magic, Magneto. Huh? If the hearts were in it, maybe. Colossus slash Juggernaut. But there's still the the magic element of the... Yeah, you've got magic, magic, whatever you want to call it. Magic is meant but... to be comparable to... Doctor Strange. Yeah, but not Scarlet Witch. The, the problem is they've made her come across as OP. They've made Scarlet Witch come across as the... But she's not so, part of the Avenger lineup there. Yeah, in solution the, to everything. Like, just looking at that cover. She's there. Do you, is she? Oh. She's not. <laughs> you were like, damn it, son of a... Yeah. No, no, looking at, the, looking at, looking at this lineup. Mm-hmm. Who do you think would win? The, the, the front cover... What I love Only. in this lineup is they've got X Men like Warpath in there. Yeah. <laughs> who are never mentioned at all in the storyline. And Beast and Wolverine are part of the Avengers. Yes. Yeah. A, an Iceman who doesn't appear till pretty much the end, apart from when he's probably bowing down in front of Emma. Yeah, like once. Gambit. Does Gambit do anything in this? No, Nothing. I, I, I don't know. No, I, I think it would be. It'd be something to think about and discuss in depth anyway. Should pair them off and fight them. And that, see that's what works. I wanted to do, but we ended up just talk, like going through Should the play one graphic of the, novel in depth. Is there any kind of fighting games we could play that have all the characters we just take them on? It'd be whoever I control who would win every time, but... I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just, just warning you. Them's fighting words. Right, we're going to do that. Okay, so the next episode is going to be all about movie news. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Is it not? Yes, it is. I was singing. 
Oh, right, thing. is that what you call that? <laughs> okay. Yes, well, it's some movie news to quickly go over before I fall asleep. And um, for my money, Magneto beats all the Avengers yeah, on the list. Yeah, he's, he's too OP. Yeah. Especially when Wanda's not there. Metal Shield? Crunch. Tin <laughs> Man? Crunch. Colossus? Crunch. Oh, shit, he was one wrong of my... Wrong guy, wrong Sorry. guy. Thor? Thor was metal. Just pin him down. Aye, yeah. exactly. Put his hammer on his chest. Is this, this there metal in me on your... I don't know what it is, it's magic. It's a weird thing. There's a lot of debate about that. Like if you put it down in a lift, would the lift go up? Yes, <laughs> well it would because the lift, they, they talk about there's that no worthiness they involved. Talk, it's at the end of Civil War? No, yeah, yeah, it's the do. end of Age of Ultron. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. I have something else to add about Age of Ultron, but it's already been on an hour and twenty. Yes. So thanks for listening, guys. You can find me at Dystopia in the usual places, and you can get us at the buffkeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com. Over to you, big man. I am going to tell you about that little bit of information that I've got about uh, Age of Ultron, but it's only be it's going to be the next podcast, and hopefully in that podcast I'll be able to speak properly. <laughs> that would be that'd be real, real nice. Yeah. But that is what you call a hook, people. <laughs> And you can obviously find us at the website, which is the Buffgeek Podcast Blog And the sponsor of this podcast and every other podcast is Alpha Fitness. Hit them up for all of your personal training and nutritional programming needs. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. WANK!